A Swan for Christmas, 2010. I'm William Hovey Smith, and I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and each year I usually take a muzzle-loading gun of some sort or other to North Carolina on a swan hunt. Well, in 2010, I took an original 1842 British smoothbore musket, and we went up after these magnificent fowl. Well, it was a very, very tough hunt, and there's another video about that. But after six days of really struggle, I got one. Now, we broke ice, and we did all sorts of stuff, but we managed to finally get a swan to decoy in our blocks and killed it. Here it is, back home in Georgia, and it's being plucked. It was singed after this, and put in the freezer for this year's Christmas dinner. And now it's thawed, you have onions on it, it's stuffed with celery, its breast has been wiped down with salt and butter, and now it's ready to put in the oven at 350 degrees for roasting. Well, I tried something a little different this year. I actually had an oven with a timer on it, and I tried to see if how long it took. Now this is a non-timed swan from a previous year, and as you see, it turned out for a nice bird on the platter. Well, this year's bird cooked too long, as you can see. The breast meat is done, and it has fallen off the bone. But nonetheless, because it is cooked in moisture and in tinfoil, is extremely tender. So this was a delicious swan, despite its despicable appearance. Now, we made soup from some of it, and we used a Camp Traditions dried wild rice soup mix for it. And it turned out very, very well indeed. I did add a little extra regular rice and some extra dill weed, and uh, it did real good. And here is a complete meal. Okay, we've got uh, dark swan meat sliced on the plate along with some ham, some butter beans, giblet gravy, swan soup, swan dressing, sweet potato stuff, and we had a very, very nice meal out of this. I usually cook a Christmas meal, even if I'm only here by myself. But this year, good friend Billy Krantz was along, and he much enjoyed it. Now, a new wrinkle this year is I made pear wine. And so we decanted some of the wine, although it's not quite really done yet. It's still pretty raw. And so we served that for Christmas dinner as well. And it turned out to be quite nice. Well, after this meal... Billy and my dog, Ursus Arcticus, decided that, yeah, it was about time to go down for a nap. And so they did, being very, very well fed indeed from the swan and the other fixings that I had. Among the 40 videos that I now have up on YouTube, there is one on swan hunting, which will describe how this particular swan was taken. For much more information, go to my books at www.hoviesmith.com, and there I have a fairly complete treatment of whatever subject I treat in these books, including uh, bow fishing, uh, muzzle loading, crossbow hunting, and really inexpensive and practical deer hunting. So that's what these books are all about. I also have videos. I also have blogs. And all of these, in one way or another, will feature recipes.